Hey guys, it's Puffin Plucky76. I'm kind of in a hurry, so I have to finish this video pretty quick. I'm going to be showing you how to do the Future Frames effect. Future Frames is a video by Mystery Guitar Man, and I've gotten a request to do this, so here it goes. Now, when you're shooting the video, the camera has to be like completely still, mounted on a tripod or somewhere else. So, what you're going to do is when you're recording it, you're just going to record yourself jumping or throwing something. So this is what you're going to do. Whoa. <laughs> so you have to record yourself doing something like that. And then let's go over to editing. Okay, so I've imported the clip of me jumping. It's just the clip I showed you just before this video and what it's just me jumping just like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the right arrow key to go frame by frame to find a point I kind of like this one that's gonna be the part where I freeze or maybe this whichever one you like best um, I'm going to choose this one. So once you've found your point, don't move this little slider at all. Don't touch that slider. <coughs> and click this little disk icon, save, save snapshot to file. Then you can just save that wherever you want and change the name if you want to. And then it will appear right up here. So what you want to do is you want to drag that image to a track above. And then, what you're going to do is you're going to make the clip shorter, the image shorter, and drag it right to where the slider is. That's why you can't move the slider. You have to leave it at the same spot. So if you watch the video now, it should just look like you, it should just be you frozen there for the whole video, and then almost the whole video, and then you'll start just jumping down. That's what the video looks like. <coughs> so now what you're going to do is go to the picture and click this little icon, event pan slash crop. And what you're going to do is you are going to check the mask button and click this little tool called the anchor creation tool. Then you can just click and make a mask around your body. Now this isn't going to be a very good mask because this is I'm just doing it quickly for this tutorial but you can probably make yours better than mine. Okay. So basically you just keep clicking around. If you've used, if you've used Photoshop you would know how to do this. So then, once you have your mask, it will appear like this. And just to make it look a little better, you can click Path, Feather Type, Out, and then just set it to something like 2 would probably be good can just check that in your preview over there. Yep, that looks pretty good. So just exit that. <coughs> and then when you play your video back, it should seem like this. So I'm just going frame by frame here. So it's just going to be when you jump, you're just going to jump. And then you're going to join up with the guy and go back down. So that's it. I'll put the finished video right at the end of this video so i'll put my finished project at the end of this video so i hope you enjoyed if you have any questions down below in the comments or pm me on youtube um yeah bye